He has scored five runs. He has driven in four. A line drive towards the right field corner. Fair ball! Edgardo Alfonso is the first Met in team history with six hits in one game. Six for six for Alfonso. I think I was jumping up and down on the couch and I was just rooting for him to get that hit. It was just amazing, you know, just being able to see Somebody that I called my uncle, somebody that I talked to over the phone casually, you know, being a superhero on TV. Giovanni Alfonso used to watch his uncle wear the Mets colors. I couldn't watch the game if I had homework. Mom, mom knew I wasn't paying attention to my homework if the game was on. And anything between 7 and 10 was just baseball, just the Mets. Now Gio is fulfilling a dream by playing in the same organization as his Tio after signing with the Mets in March. That's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be in the big leagues. I wanted to play for the Mets. I wanted to be in Shea Stadium at the time. Just to have the spotlight that he had and, and be the, the silent assassin that he was. You know, he never got in trouble, never, you know, never said anything on the field. It wasn't too high or too low at any point. Um, it was just a good person to look up to. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uncle Edgardo wasn't the only Alfonso Gio aspired to be. It was also Gio's father, Edgar, yeah. who paved the way for the Alfonso yeah. name in professional baseball. After he signed with the Angels, he was collecting all his checks, keeping them in a the drawer. And when he finally met my mom, my mom's like, what are you doing with all this money in this drawer? And he's like, well, I'm saving it to send back home, you know, to bring back home to my family. He was paving the way for my uncle, paving the way for my, my other uncle, you know, Robert, who became a, a, a ball player and a scout with the Mets as well. And, um, you know, just brought baseball into the family. And uh, now I think, you know, the two brothers, my dad, his two brothers played ball. Uh, I have a little cousin, an older brother, myself, and then my little brother is going to college now. Uh, everyone else has played professionally. So... I think, you know, not just my uncle, but everybody, he's, he's paved the way for the Alfonso name. Edgar spent 13 seasons managing and coaching in the Mets system with Gio alongside for just about every step of the way. Oh, man. All of them? Okay. I was in Kingsport, Savannah, Brooklyn, St. Lucie, Columbia, Binghamton. He always took the time to make sure I was doing the right thing. Um, regardless of what he was doing with his job. You know, he always, obviously the players, you know, came first when we were at the field. But after they were done hitting and stuff, instead of him going in and relaxing in the AC, he would be hitting me ground balls or, or throwing me BP. <laughs> the road to the Mets organization was a bumpy one. After playing two years with the Marlins, the infielder was released and spent the 2017 season with the independent Long Island Ducks. The following offseason passed quickly with no interest from major league teams. At that point in February, I just didn't want to deal with baseball because I was, you know, I was, I was hurt by, uh, you know, just by the, the way the business was going. Then, a week before minor league spring training, a call from Gio's agent. He goes, yeah, so the Mets are going to bring you into spring training and, uh, I think that's, that's all I remember hearing. I kind of just put my head down on the table. My mom and dad were sitting there. My little brother was at school. And, uh, and I just was crying. I was weeping. Um, you know, one of those good in your soul cries. I was so thankful. I was so happy. I was so, there was just so many emotions. Um, but, you know, all the pain that I had gone through before that went away right away. And I was just ready to go. So, how's everything? Everything good? Yes, sir. Good. All right, I like it. You know, the New York Mets, they, they gave my family so many opportunities, so many chances to, to be great and successful. And, uh, and we're thankful. We're forever thankful for that, you know, just to be back. It's, it's unbelievable. Shake.